blog this week you guessed it we're at the Ottawa Art Gallery follow me there's a lot of entrances at the Ottawa Art Gallery we've decided to give you another frontage here on daily for today's special video blog we're meeting with Catherine from the Ottawa Art Gallery and Delila who is a curator for a spe special exhibit happening right now right here we want you to learn more so take a look Hi everyone, we're really excited to welcome you back to the OAG. Our admission is always free, so definitely come by. We've got some great programming this fall. Um, definitely come down before Sunday to check out How I Love You here in Gallery Annex. We'll be opening the new show, A Mind's Eye, with four more local artists on September 15th, so mark your calendar for that. Um, additionally, in the rest of the gallery, we're prepping for our big fall opening on October 19th, where we're going to be um, unveiling the show A Family Palette with the work of Franklin Arbuckle, Franz Johnson, and Francis Ann Johnson. Um, that will be a big party, so we hope that you can be here. Um, we're really excited uh, also to just have you come down and check out our shows that are on view. Don Kwan, uh, Leslie Reed, Robert Katuk. We've got wonderful artists uh, here for you to see. Also, don't forget to check out our events calendar where you can see where um, our public programming um, events are, such as Art Tent, which is going to be at the Dundonald Park Festival near the end of the month, as well as the Sphere Festival at the National Arts Centre, and also the Ottawa International Animation Festival. Additionally, we're about to kick off our monthly Creative Sundays at the end of the month, which is just here at the gallery in the studio, free family drop-in. We hope to see you here. I'm so excited to meet you. I, we visited this place earlier uh, this month and thought, got to do something special. We got to meet this person and envision this space. I want to know first more about you. Yeah, of course. So, well, my name's Lila, of course. And so I'm a guest curator here at the Ottawa Art Gallery in the commercial space of so the Annex Gallery. We've got an Annex. And so the way that I got this position was really they, it was between a collaboration between the Ottawa Black Arts Collective and the OEG, which they've had multiple partnerships, which is just like one of the most recent ones. And it was really a um, position that came out of wanting to do, wanting to basically encourage more young black curators, specifically some that don't necessarily have experience, which is really great for me, as I have an anthropology background. So I have like studied like cultures and stuff like that, but not necessarily in such a direct artistic way. And so this is a great opportunity. I really got to work with the head of the annex, um, which is Stephanie Germano, she's amazing. And I also got to have a aid from Auto Black Arts Collective, from Stan Wani, who's another artist, and our creative who also got to direct me as I was doing this show. So it's really been an amazing experience. There's a special moment, and we'll talk about the moment here in a few, uh, in a, in a few minutes, but really curious to, to hear your journey. Uh, Born and raised in Ottawa, what got you involved in the arts? What got you engaged in the curation of spaces like this? Basically, well, so yeah, I'm from Ottawa, like I've always lived here. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> and um, basically, when I was in university, like a year or two before I started here, I started kind of figuring out what I wanted to do in connection with anthropology. I wasn't in the mood to do so much critical research necessarily. Not that this isn't there, as this is done here as well, but. There it's a lot more theory, whereas I feel like this is a lot more hands-on. And so I started to look into different avenues of how anthropology can connect me to the museum world. And honestly, like working here was really, really amazing. Like everything kind of just lined up. I like I was working here already for a year prior to getting the position. So I was working at the desk, at the administration, at the experience, and also I was working as a collections assistant already with Catherine Sinclair. And it you was had a great. relationship. Yeah, with exactly. And so from there, it was just like nice building blocks to do this position. So it was super amazing, especially having known everybody. It was great. I loved it. It certainly feels like a, a welcome and safe space, and, yeah. and growing up into the team in different roles, I'm sure, has been a unique experience. I really want to share, yeah, people have to come and visit yes. to really fully discover the exhibit and the, the thoughtfulness uh, behind this and, and the, the, the provocation in many ways, a positive one mm -hmm. that uh, the artists are, are conveying. But uh, as people are listening and we're trying to get them to, to come over the next number of days, I'm curious to hear from you. What was the thinking that led to the, uh, the vision of the space? 
what are you trying to convey, and um, what are the unknowns maybe of, of the space that you really want to share uh, with, uh, with folks who say to the Yeah, for sure. So basically the idea had come because as I was trying to, one I knew I wanted to do was show with all black artists, which was accomplished, which is great. I wanted to do all black artists, and when I had initially done the submission call, I didn't want to leave any restrictions or really put any restrictions on the artists so there was an age limits. There was a career limit, so we have a variety, especially for quite a few, but at least more than half, this is their first show. So I really wanted to put emphasis on the fact that like, there's just so much talent in Ottawa, especially with black artists, and so that was one of the things I wanted to do. And then in terms of the theme, How I Love You, was basically because I, when I was doing my research, or preliminary research, I found that a lot of the artistic black topics centered a lot on trauma, and especially post like the last two years, with different protests and the BLM movements, I felt that it wasn't necessarily giving a holistic view of black community. Not that that doesn't have its own rightful place, it's really important. But I also wanted to share like another perspective of that. So I chose the topic of love, which definitely experiences all that, you know, like in the show as we go around. It's not all like peaches and roses, not everything is super pretty and lovely. It also includes things that are a bit more, you know, there's definitely like, a critical lens that's being shown in the show where we're talking about different ways in the black community that perhaps we don't necessarily love the best or what we need to work on. And so I really wanted to be able to offer that within the show. And then in terms of like unknowns, well the show is kind of separated from like three pillars. So there's the self-love slash individual section, then we move on to community and where we can find different like familial things, um, romantic relationships, and then we move on to generational. And basically those three pillars interact with each other and basically form how the goal of the show is to basically show how this can all exist within one human being with as black people are not the model. And of course we have we experience all these great and big emotions and it can all really be found in love. And yeah, I recently wanted to show that within the show. And I think I think I did it. I think I, I think I did it. There, there's a uh, raging review on the the experience, that's why we're here meeting with you today and really want to share that broadly. Share with us, uh, you know, being in Ottawa, being in Ottawa, having an opportunity for the space, what is the feedback you've received uh, by some of the artists, some of the other creators, some of your friends and families, uh, family members who've come through the space? Yeah, I mean, it's been overwhelmingly positive. Of course, I'm the first time curator, I was super nervous. And I'm like, I just hope everyone loves it, regardless, even if I don't do my job properly, it's gonna be fun because the artwork is so amazing. But everyone was super, super happy with how the space came out, and so the overwhelming response, especially on the opening night, was just like, I don't know we had this many black artists, I've never heard of so many people, and because I wanted, because it was a community position, I really wanted to encourage that aspect of just like bringing a lot of people together. So the opening, we like sold out twice, but it was basically like a bunch of people. It, we were estimated to hit around like 200 something. And it, there were so many people, they were all super happy and they would come up to me and they'd be like, when are you doing another one? I was like, oh my God, I just did this. <laughs> we have Such a milestone. Yeah. yeah, and they were like, can we have more of these? So, and just like the fact that there were so many artists, there were 30 submissions in total. So there's definitely a big need for opportunities like this. And it just shows that like, we don't have black artists. Yes, that's already a downside of itself, but also you're missing out in the artistic community as a whole. Like, there is a gap there. It's not just the fact that we want to give opportunities to black artists, it's the fact that the artistic community is lacking in terms of like the quality of work, which is, we can see around us, it's great. So it definitely was really nice. It was definitely like a reminder, a more affirming the fact that like, the city wants more positions like this and also wants more opportunities for artists like this. So just to view it and also want to be like, it's very accessible space, like it's very welcoming. So I think the reviews were quite positive. I, I want to congratulate you. I want also for you to know that your energy is contagious. So <laughs> amazing work. Congratulations. And, and folks have the next week or so, if they haven't come by the Ottawa Art Gallery, your exhibit's right here. Yeah, exactly. It happens on the 11th, and the, all the works are for sale. Well, except the ones that have a sticker. So quite a few have sold, which is super awesome. But um, yeah, they're all for sale. So definitely come by. It's always free. And um, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> As you can see, there's so much happening here at the Ottawa Art Gallery. 
really it's a New York style gallery in the heart of Ottawa and yes local artists shine it's free access and I'm amazed by the strong link between the arts court community and arts community and the Ottawa Art Gallery there's so much to discover as you can see there's an exhibit on until next week and there's tons of local art spaces that are available and continue to change throughout the year here at the Ottawa Art Gallery yours to discover